Well, hello and welcome to Kids Town Online. Boys and girls, we're so glad that you're here with us. Well, our theme for this month is the Big Sandbox. Boys and girls, do you like going to the beach? Gosh, it seems like it's the biggest sandbox ever. And then you also have the ocean there that you're able to view and hear. It's like you hear the ocean waves crashing and you hear children laughing and playing and you hear the birds squalling. It's like the biggest music soundtrack ever. Well, you know what? I love the soundtrack that we create every week when we give praise to God. So come on, let's do it again. I've really missed. I've missed Ollie. Ollie's been traveling around the world. Hey, I think you can help me and maybe we'll get a chance to see Ollie. Can you say, Ollie, Ollie, where are you? Kids Town really misses you. Can you do it with me this time? You ready? Ollie, Ollie, where are you? Kids Town really misses you. Well, hello, boys and girls. Oh, oh, I miss you too. I'm here at the beaches of sunny Florida, thinking about you. My friends and I flew over here to spend the day by the water. We love to play hide and go see and tap right above the ocean. One of my friends hurt his wing and we had to find help for him. It reminds me of today's Bible story. Someone had to go find help for their friend. You are going to want to hear this story. Ooh, ooh, come with me. Let's sail over to the wonder love house. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the club.
there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Zoe, and I'm so happy to see you today. As you can tell, I'm having so much fun. Do you know what I'm doing? That's right, I'm building a super duper sandcastle. And everyone knows that a super duper sandcastle needs a moat. I'm going to dig and dig and dig all the way around my sandcastle. Hey, I better start getting to work. This is taking so long and I've been working so hard. I don't know if I can do this by myself. What am I gonna do? Who? Who? It's Zoe! Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Digging a moat, are you? Hi, Ollie. Well, I'm trying to. It's been taking so long, and I've been working so hard, and I'm feeling kind of frustrated, Ollie. I'm sorry you're feeling so blue, but I have just the story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. There you go, you got it. Oh, hi friends. Stormy and her friend Goldie are playing ball. For a while, Goldie was trying to hold the ball on her nose by herself and it was hard. But then Stormy came to help and now they're playing. <laughs> Isn't that what good friends do? They help each other, which reminds me of a story. Today's true story from the Bible starts with Jesus walking into a city to do some important work when a centurion came up to him. Wow, look at that cool armor he's wearing. Centurions were leaders in the army. They were big and important, but this centurion believed that Jesus was even more important and he needed Jesus' help. Jesus, he said, my servant is at home and he is very, very sick. Please, I need your help to make him better. Now remember, Jesus was busy. He was on his way to do important work. But do you think that stopped him from helping the centurion? <laughs> no way. Jesus said, do you want me to come to your house and make him better? But the centurion said, Jesus, you are way too special to come to my house. I know you can just say it and he will get better. And that's exactly what Jesus did. Jesus told the centurion to go home and the servant would be all better. And he was. Wow, Jesus is such a good friend. Jesus heard someone needed his help and he helped them. Jesus loved the centurion and his servant just like he loves you. That's why Jesus wants to be your friend forever because he loves you very much. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus helped the centurion, and he can help all of us, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. That was such a great story. Jesus helped the centurion when he needed him, and Jesus can help all of us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. You know what? I'm gonna pray and ask Jesus if he can keep helping me to keep working hard and finish this moat. And I may ask a few friends to help me too. I'll see you next time. Bye! Well, boys and girls, in our story today, the centurion asked Jesus for help. When can we ask Jesus for help? Well, I've got a heart here and some stickers here, and I'm gonna ask you to also do some special motions. Let me ask you a question. Can we ask Jesus for help when we're sad? Can you show me your sad face? Yes, we can ask Jesus for help when we are sad. Well, 
Let's take our sad sticker and we're gonna put it right on our heart. Right there. Okay, can we ask Jesus for help when we are being silly? Can you give me a silly face? Of course, we can ask Jesus for help even when we're being silly. Let's get our sticker. Hmm, let's put this one right here. Boys and girls, can we ask Jesus for help when we are happy? Can you show me your happy face? Yes, we can ask Jesus for help when we are happy because he loves us just that much. I think I'm gonna put this one right here. Boys and girls, can we ask Jesus for help when we are scared? Show me your scared face. Yes, we can ask Jesus for help when we are scared. Let's put our scared sticker right here. Boys and girls, can we ask Jesus for help when we are angry? Show me your angry face. Yes, we definitely can ask Jesus for help when we are angry, mad. All right, let's put that sticker, hmm, right here. Last one. Boys and girls, can we ask Jesus for help when we're feeling sick? Can you show me what you feel like when, or what you look like when you feel sick? Yes, that's a good time to ask Jesus for help. Let's find a space for this. A little bit outside the heart, but it works. Boys and girls, it's so good to know that we can ask Jesus for help when we are sad, when we're silly, when we're happy, when we're scared, when we're angry, or when we're sick. It doesn't matter because he loves us so much. Who does Jesus love? Yes, Jesus loves me and he loves you. Well, boys and girls, it's that time to do our memory verse. Are you ready? All right, here we go. A friend loves you turn around at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. All right, boys and girls, let's pray. Jesus, we thank you so very much for always being there to help us anytime that we need you. We can always depend on you to be there because you love us so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, boys and girls, here at Kids Town, and you know that Jesus loves you this much. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.